Okay, so the last problems we need to look at are freezing point depression and boiling point elevation problems. Um, what's nice about these is really the main work is just calculating your molality and then subtracting or adding from the freezing point or boiling point. So it's actually pretty straightforward. Uh, remember that our formula is that the change in temperature is going to be equal to the Van Hoff uh, number, which we'll talk about in a second, times the molality times a constant. And that constant can either be the freezing point constant if you're doing the change in freezing point, or it can be the boiling point constant, which will usually be given. So uh, if you look at question six, it says, what's the new freezing point of number three above? Well, number three above is 50 grams of calcium chloride dissolved in 750 grams of water. So to get the molality, I am going to need to know the moles of calcium chloride divided by the kilograms of water. So here's my 50 grams of calcium chloride. One mole of calcium chloride, let's see, 40.0. 8 plus 35.45 plus 35.45, 110.98. So that gives me 0 0.451 moles of calcium chloride. To get my molality, I am going to take 0 0.451 moles of that calcium chloride divided by my water in kilograms. So 750 grams, if I move my decimal three places to the left is 0 0.750 kilograms. So that I find out that my molality is 0 0.601. And now I'm ready to start putting numbers into the problem. For number six, we are doing a new freezing point. So I know that my uh, freezing point constant for water is negative 1.86. So let's see, my change in temperature is gonna be my Van Hoff number, I'll leave room for that, times my molality, times my freezing point constant, which I'm given is negative 1.86. And now I just need to figure out what my little i is. Well, the i is just based on how many solutes it's going to break down into. So if you had something like glucose, it would be one because glucose doesn't break down. It's a covalent compound. If you had NaCl, it would be two because sodium chloride dissolves into Na plus and chloride in water. For calcium chloride, the calcium chloride breaks down into a calcium plus two chloride ions. So my number is gonna be one, two, three, right here. So once I do the math on this, I find out that my change in temperature is gonna be 3.36 degrees Celsius. Now that's not where I end, sorry, negative. So I'm at zero, because that's the freezing point of water. And then I'm going to subtract the 3.36 to get my new temperature, which is negative 3.36 degrees Celsius. It's pretty easy with water with that whole zero degrees and 100 degrees. And that's pretty straightforward. So let's look at question. So I think that was question five, no, six, sorry. 
Question seven is very similar, except for you're using solution two. I think that you can do that one with this as an example. So let's look at question eight. Question eight says, a certain amount of NaCl is dissolved in 200 grams of water and its resulting boiling point is 101.5 degrees Celsius. How many moles and grams of sodium chloride were dissolved? So once again, we're using this formula. But except for we're using the boiling point uh, constant. So let's see what information we already are given. So on number eight, sorry, let me fold this. The information we're given so far is that the new boiling point is 101.5 degrees Celsius. Well, we know that water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. So our delta T is going to be 1.5 degrees Celsius. Does that make sense to everybody? That's just the difference between boiling and what the new temperature was. So 1.5 degrees Celsius is going to be equal to our Van't Hoff number. Well, NaCl is going to dissolve into Na plus and Cl minus. So our little i is going to be 2. Our molality is what we're solving for. And our Kb is just a constant, which they gave us in the prior problem. The boiling point constant of water is 0 0.5. 512. So do the magic of simplification. And we find out that our molality is 1.46. So remember that molality is moles of solute per kilograms of solvent. So I can now plug in some other information. So I know that 1.46 is going to be equal to my moles of NaCl divided by my kilograms of water. So 200 grams of water would be two kilograms of water. Just move the decimal three places to the left. So that's gonna go on the bottom. Uh, I'm gonna simplify this to solve for moles of NaCl. So 1.46 times 0.2. I'm gonna now, once I solve this, I know that my moles of sodium chloride are going to be 0 0.292 moles. And then the last thing I was asked for is how many grams was that? So I can take one last step. And convert it back to grams. and find out that 17.1 grams of sodium chloride is how many were dissolved. So that is how you set up question eight. Uh, hopefully that was helpful and uh, good luck.